Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss some interesting facts about null in Java. Well, we know variables in Java are of two types, primitive data types and reference types. Primitive data type stores values and reference type stores references. And primitive type data types has some default values. For example, integer has zero, Boolean is the default value of Boolean is false and so on. So what do like the default value of references? So when you declare a reference type and it is uninitialized, what's the default value? You got it right, it's null. So now let's discuss about some interesting facts about null in Java. So I have an object here declared and I'm trying to you know print that object. So it's just declared and it is uninitialized. So we'll check what's the default value you are going to get now. And we can clearly see here, null has been displayed here for this OBJ object. So if an object of reference type is declared and it is not initialized, then the default value of it is null. And null is case sense two. So always remember null is case sense two. It has to be in lower case letters. So if you actually put it in an upper case letters, so let's see what happens. It just throws an error. It says cannot find symbol variable null, right? So it doesn't recognize if you actually give null in the upper case. It should always be in the lower case. So you can see now we should not get any error, right? So we didn't get any error. So always null has to be in lower case as null is case sense two. And so it can be null can be assigned to any reference type. So you can see it here, right? So string double integer. So these are the wrapper classes and we can actually assign null to any reference type. So let's execute and verify. So we didn't get any error, meaning like uh, null can be assigned to any reference type and we can type cache null to any type. And remember null is neither an object nor a type. It is just a special value. Null objects cannot be unboxed. That is, uh, the, we can't actually convert the objects of the uh, wrapper class cannot be converted to the data types of, uh, to its respective data types, for example, here you can see i is the object of the wrapper class integer and we initialized it to null. Now, if we assign i, which is an integer uh, type, right? So object of a wrapper class integer and I am trying to unbox it and trying to assign it to a, which is of int data type. So let's see what, what happens. So you can see, we get an error, null pointer exception, right? So this is because null objects cannot be unboxed. And next one is instance of operator. So when we use the instance of operator on the null type, so we always, it returns the false. Say for example, I have an integer object i here and as in the null type to it, and I'm trying to use instance of on that object i. So usually what do we think? It's an instance of integer, right? i is an in instance of integer. We can clearly see that here. So we expect it to be true, but not. So instance of operator on the null type always returns. This returns false. And we can also verify like for any other uh, integer object. So as in some value to it, some integer value to it and check the instance of uh, what it actually displays. So you can see as it, it actually returns false as the null type has been assigned to the integer object, right? So instance of is returning false in that case. And when you actually assign some value to it, some integer, then it's actually returning true. And double equals and not equals can be used. Say for example, I have an object of uh, double type, you see D, which has as in null, right? No, now I wanted to verify if it is not equal to null, right? So 
it is null actually. So it, it, it should return false. And the second one is we are using double equals and trying to see if it is null. So it is null. So it has written true. We can verify that. So you can clearly see the first one returns false and the second is true. So this is false. D is not equal to null is false as D is as in null, right? So the second one is true. So the concept here is like double equals and not equals can be used on the null types, right? And the last one is static methods can be called with a reference of null type, but non-static methods can't. So what do I mean by that is Say for example, I have an object of uh, the same class, null facts, right? So I assigned it uh, null. And I, am, I can actually call a static method, but can't call the non-static method. So here you can see I have a static method outside of the class. So you can see this method uh, actually just says I am static method and you can see a non-static method as well, right? So I'm trying to call these two methods with an object which has a null type. Let's try to execute now. So you can see I'm static method got displayed. So the object was able to actually call the static method, but it was not able to call the non-static method. You can see it actually got error while calling the non-static method. So this is because static methods can be called with a reference of null type, but non-static methods can't. So these are the, some of the interesting facts about null in Java. And I would like to hear from you if you do know any other facts about null, please feel free to add it in the comment section. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.